I was scrolling through my Facebook feed the other day and somehow came across a video of a safari expedition watching this lioness try and catch a wildebeest out of a stampeding herd that was coming straight at her. She attempts several times and then out of the corner of the screen jumps this massive lion and in one fell swoop takes down a wildebeest on the first try. And when I saw the sheer power of this king of the jungle taking down this animal that has an average weight of over 290 pounds, I was pretty impressed. But a few days later, I was going through a few notes I made in the book, Chase the Lion by Mark Batterson, and that's when this scripture came back to life from my Bible reading. 2 Samuel 23, 20. There was also Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, a valiant warrior from Kabzeel. He did many heroic deeds, which included killing two champions of Moab. Another time, on a snowy day, he chased a lion down into a pit and killed it. So time out. This guy, Benaiah, not only killed a lion, but he chased it down into a pit in the snow. From this obscure little scripture about a pretty incredible moment, there are a few lessons that we can learn. After this momentous feat, we go on to learn that this was just adding to his already impressive resume. And due to this resume, Benaiah goes on to become the commander-in-chief of Israel's army. He is the top man. This is impressive, but it took moments like killing a lion to pave the way for him to reach this goal. We need to have dreams and pursue goals that may look a little scary and that may be viewed as even too audacious for a person to obtain. But I ask you today, what is God calling you to do? Is he calling you to live safely, attend church, pay your tithes, and make it to heaven by doing the bare minimum? Or is he calling you beyond the status quo to a dream and a purpose that requires audacious, lion-killing faith? God has a plan for your life. No matter what stage of life you're in, that is big. And that thought in the back of your mind that just won't go away but seems to be too big to obtain isn't there by chance. Maybe, just maybe, God is gently pulling at you to do something big for him. Mark Batterson goes on to say, at the end of our lives, our greatest regrets will be the God-ordained opportunities we left on the table, the God-given passions we didn't pursue, and the God-sized dreams we didn't go after because we let fear dictate our decisions. You see, excuses can always be made. Tomorrow will always seem like the perfect day to start something. But with excuses and procrastination comes regret and disappointment. It seems as if so many of us stop living long before we are buried due to complacency and the fear of failure and taking the risk of stepping out in faith. Will doing something extraordinary be easy? Probably not. It will require extraordinary sacrifice and risk But in the end, as you follow God's plan, he will be with you every step of the way. The last quote from this book that I want to read is, I love this book. It says, we tend to avoid situations where the odds are against us. But when we do, we rob God of the opportunity to do something supernatural. So are you willing to give up on your dream or are you willing to chase the lion into a pit on a snowy day and find victory.